Windows is dying a slow death. In the last 14 years, its USA operating system market share has fallen from 95% down to 65%, while Apple and Linux have both tripled their market share. Microsoft can't compete with the faster chips in Apple computers or the zero cost of using Linux. And Windows 11 forces most people to buy a new computer. The Linux operating system and applications are all free, unlike Windows and Office programs, etc. When you download programs in Linux, you don't get unwanted bloatware installed, like you often get with Windows. Linux has less tracking than Windows, provided you don't use Google, Chrome or Edge. Linux is also more secure and less targeted by bad people than Windows. Linux is more stable and requires less updates than Windows, which is full of security holes. Linux makes it easy to customise the desktop, the mouse, where icons are positioned, etc, etc. Linux allows you to change the SSD or hard disk drive to another computer without having to reinstall anything. Linux will run with only 4 gig of RAM and with a slow Intel i3 processor. Unless you want to run expensive Adobe software, there are thousands of Windows equivalent free programs like LibreOffice, Audacity and many games that will run on Linux. Unlike in Windows, driver updates are magically installed automatically in Linux. Linux users receive less annoying advertisements than Windows users and with free software, the ads can be blocked. Most viruses are targeted at Windows computers. Most of my Linux friends don't bother installing an antivirus program. Us Linux users don't seem to receive malware. If you like malware, stick with Windows. Most keyloggers are targeting Windows computer users. I am not aware of any Linux user being targeted. If you are not worried about a ransomware attack, stick with Windows and be prepared to pay up. Or, better still, switch to Linux. Linux is supported by thousands of devoted volunteers at all levels of expertise. I have joined two local Linux groups to socialise and help each other with the programs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look below this video for a YouTube link to all my other PC tech tips. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when I upload another PC tech tip.